Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Bill, and this is Task Warrior Lesson 5. And in this lesson, what we're going to talk about is configuring Task Warrior to kind of uh, condense some of the typing that you have to do when using uh, the tool. And then I'm also going to follow up on a command from the last lesson that I didn't have figured out at the time. I figured it out, so I'm going to show you how that works. So let's get started. Okay, to get started, I'm going to show you here that I've cleared out everything from the previous lesson. So if we do a task list, there are no uh, tasks. If we do a task project, there are no projects. And if we do task completed, there's nothing in the completed section. So, so let's add a task real quick. The task add bake cake for Joe. If we do a task list, we can see that's there. So what I want to show you is something that I've discovered is a way to kind of condense these uh, commands and what you have to type in the line to create tasks and to perform different functions. So for example, we have to type task and then add and then bake cake for Joe. What if we could simplify that a little bit? What if we can uh, make that shorter? So let's do that. I'm going to nano.bashrc. We're going to edit our bash .bashrc file. I'm going to push all this stuff all the way down to the bottom. It's probably bad form or etiquette or protocol or something like that, but uh, it just makes it easier for demonstration purposes for this lesson. What we're going to use is aliases, and so Linux admins probably uh, know about this. This is probably second nature for them. But I'm going to use aliases to uh, condense the commands so we're not typing the same commands over and over again. We can save ourselves a few keystrokes and make things go a little bit quicker. What I'm going to type in is alias nt for new task equals open quotes task add dollar sign one the dollar sign one is an argument that you can send to the command and I think of it as just like a uh, empty space and so you can send uh, a particular text piece of text or something you can put in there and it will the command will process it uh, in the spot where that dollar sign is located so let's see how that works all right, let's source.bashrc. That refreshes our uh, configuration file for this bash session. Now let's do a task list. And we can see we just have our one task right now. So let's do our NT and bake cake for Sally. Hit enter. Now if we do our task list again, we can see we have a new task added, bake cake for Sally. As you can see, we didn't have to type as much. So let's do have some more fun. So we're going to do nano.bashrc. Let's add another command, a task list. So we're going to type alias tl equals equals open quote task list end quote. Let's even do a reload for our dot source dot bash rc. I'm going to save that. Now I could just type source dot bash rc, but uh, I want to show you that if you it's actually refreshing the uh, the uh, terminal session. So if I close Sigwin and then relaunch it again. I can type TL and see I have my task list. Now I can add task real easy. Go NT by eggs, NT by milk. If I do my task list, you can see I've added task for by eggs and by milk. So let's take this the next step further. Let's combine functions. Like say if we want to add a task to a project, well, that requires us sending two arguments to the command line. So we're going to have to uh, feed it the uh, task ID, the task that we want to add, and then the project name. So let's see how we do that. First, we're going to nano our .bashrc file. We're going to edit it. Now we're going to create a function. So we're going to call this task project function. Go open parentheses, close parentheses. Then the uh, open uh, squiggly bracket. We're going to tab in. We're going to start typing our command. So we're going to task dollar sign one for our task ID modify project we're going to give it a project colon then dollar sign two then the next line below that we do our close squiggly bracket then below that let's give it the alias so we're going to say alias is task proj proj t proj equals now it's going to use the name of our function our task project function and we'll save that then we're going to reload to re uh, uh, resource our .bashrc file. So let's do a quick TL for task list. So now with our function command, I can type tproj, the task ID of one, and then the project name, in this case, Joe, and hit enter. If I do a task list, you can see task ID number one there is assigned to project Joe. 
Let's do the same thing for Sally. T proj task ID number two. Sally, enter task list. And now task ID number two has been assigned to project Sally. All right, let's do a task list, or I mean TL. If you recall from the previous lesson, lesson four, I was having some trouble adding multiple tags to a particular task ID. So uh, between that lesson and this lesson, I was able to figure it out. And let me show that to you now. We go task, and then the task ID. So in this one case, we'll do task three, modify. Then we'll do tag colon, colon. Then open quotes. Now we'll type in the tags we want separated by a space. So we got Joe, we'll do Sally, space, then grocery for like grocery list, then close quotes. We hit enter, we do a task list. We can see that task three has been tagged with Joe, Sally, and grocery. Now let's pull up our task list again. Let's add that tag command as a function to our dot bash RC to save us some typing. So let's edit our dot bash RC file. Let's create a new function name. We'll call it task tag task tag function. Again, open parentheses, close parentheses, open squiggly bracket. So we're going to do task dollar sign one. That's going to be modify. Then tag colon open parentheses. I'm sorry, open quotes and then argument two, and then argument three and argument four. You can add as many as you like, but we'll stick with three. Then close quote and then close squiggly bracket. And then let's give it an alias. So this would be T tag and then equals. And then for all I like sometimes like to do is I just copy paste so I don't fat finger it. Just go copy and then paste. Then we save the file and let's reload our bash RC file. So let's uh, pull up a quick task list and let's use your T tag. So the first argument would be tag ID four, task ID four. Then argument Joe, Sally, and grocery. And then hit enter. If we pull up our task list, you can see task ID four has the tags Joe, Sally, and grocery in there. Saves you a whole lot of typing when you get to do that. Well, I hope you enjoyed lesson five. We're we're configuring task warrior to work with bash uh, lesson six has kind of goes a little bit deeper where we start stacking commands so when i create a task or i perform a function i need to, to perform several functions at one time maybe add it to a project apply a couple tags things like that so we're gonna go deeper in lesson six then the next thing is there is a uh, my website here uh tech tips dot billhertzing.com that you can visit if you go to topics and just select um, uh, do uh, the task warrior each lesson I have notes and commands of all the commands that we're typing so go there and check it out there's a little button here in the YouTube video but if you're watching this on something that's not YouTube and those buttons aren't there you can go to techtips.billhertzing.com and check that out so until then we'll see you next time